Hi everyone and welcome to another painting tutorial. So today I'm going to take you through a Space Wolves scheme I came up with just uh, focusing mostly using contrast paints uh, to begin the scheme and then moving on to some highlights and some other cool things. So over a white scar undercoat I'm going to begin by painting Briar Queen chill contrast paint just straight from the pot all over the miniature. With the Briar Queen Chill Contrast Paint now dry, I gave that about half an hour to dry. I'm going to move on to approximately a 50-50 mix of Frost Art and Contrast Medium, and again, just focusing on all of the power armor. And once again, having given the contrast paint approximately half an hour to dry, I'm now going to begin highlighting the power armor with a dry brush technique. And I'm going to be using Longbeard Gray Dry by Citadel. So as you can see, just working in a downward motion towards the Space Marines power armor, wherever possible, as I do wanna make sure I leave some of that contrast paint visible. And as you can see, removing most of the paint onto some paper towel. And with the Longbeard Grey dry now applied, I'm going to be moving on to Rack White, which is also a dry paint, and I didn't worry about cleaning the brush. And again, just going to be going over all of those highlights on the Power Armor.
Now, since contrast paint did seep into the details that I'll need to use an additional contrast paint over or two, I'm going to apply Gracia to the shoulder pad and just the lenses as well, just to prepare them for the next steps. So with the Power Armor nearing completion, I'm just going to apply some Bile Red Contrast to the lenses and then move on to some Bad Moon Yellow over the shoulder pad. And as you can see, I just had to correct some of the bile red there a little bit before it dried, as it did pull over into the power armor a little bit. Generally, I like to leave the mistakes I make in my tutorials, just to show you that you can quickly correct them. Alternatively, you can always let the paint dry and then just work over the color with a few coats. And now, as you can see, just for the gun pouch and for the gun itself and just preparing the other metal parts as well, I'm just going to be using some Black Legion contrast paint. And now to begin highlighting the shoulder pad, I decided to go with Phalanx Yellow, but as you can see, I'm using a little bit of uh, the case that I've torn off my Citadel case, one of my Citadel cases. However, just a bit of sponge, kitchen sponge would do just fine. And as you can see, not a lot of paint on it whatsoever. But just trying to give little sort of scratch highlights as well, as you can see here. And just to mention as well, I really like the way that the Bad Moon yellow contrast looks over Gracia. And uh, of course, when I did that before, that wasn't uh, with any medium. So this is the result of it. If you just put Bad Moon yellow contrast straight over Gracia. And I decided to keep the lenses really simple. So over the Bile Red Contrast paint, I'm just gonna do a Fire Dragon Bright Highlight.
And after seeing that the lenses just looked a little bit dull, I've decided to add just an additional highlight using the phalanx yellow, just to bring them out that little bit more. Now, once again, as you can see, I've left in the fact that I wasn't too happy with how they looked. So I am going to go back and shade the recesses of the lenses with the bile red contrast again. And eventually as well, just correct the power armor around the lenses with a highlight of Dead White by Vallejo. And now adding just the final touches to the power armor, just using some Dead White by Vallejo. So as you can see, just some minor edge highlights and also just some minor sort of scratch-like highlights across the armor. Almost to make it look as though uh, the Space Marine has been trekking across a frozen tundra, for example. As I really love the way the Briar Queen Chill and Frost Heart contrast paints look together, just with some simple gray and white highlights. So as you can see there, in a dabbing motion, just sort of letting the brush do the work. And there is the result of the power armor. I'm really happy with it at this point. And now for, without a doubt, the hardest part of the Space Wolf scheme is freehand painting the chapter symbol. Now, as always, just really take your time with this. And if it's the first time you're painting a chapter symbol, I'd highly recommend just giving it a bit of a practice shot on perhaps a model that's just been sitting there for a little while that you don't think you're going to use. Or alternatively, you could just use a paint palette. But uh, yeah, it's certainly a tricky one. But initially the most important thing is just trying to get the outline of the design itself as close to the artwork as you can. And then of course, sort of working backwards and correcting some of those details. As for example, when I started doing this Space Wolf scheme, at one point I felt like it looked more like a dragon head as opposed to a wolf but uh, by the time I was finished with it, I was quite happy. And as you can see, the Abaddon Black is quite watered down, uh, not to the point where it's running off the miniature, obviously, but enough so that I can go back relatively easy, easily, I should say, and correct uh, any parts that I'm not happy with. So just gradually building it up, as you can see. Another thing to consider as well is the fact that this is black over yellow. Uh, which is always going to be a bit harder to correct than a lighter color over a darker color. But nonetheless, as I said, just take your time and certainly get a bit of practice in before doing it on a miniature you plan on fielding, fielding on the army, uh, on the tabletop, I should say. <laughs>
And at this point, I was really happy with how it was looking. And I'm just adding some extra details just at the front of the wolf head, just on the nose there. And also just making the teeth look a little bit sharper. And correcting the width of the mouth as well, as I thought. Uh, I was thinking that it was looking a little bit thick. So yeah, as you can see, just bringing that down. And I should mention as well, the yellow that I am using is the same of which I highlighted before. And that is Phalanx Yellow by Citadel. So at this point, the model is very close to completion. So I'm just going to finish off by doing some simple highlights with German gray over the gun pouches and of course, just the casing of the bolt gun as well. And then moving up to Dawnstone by Citadel. Cause as you can see, the contrast paint has already done quite a bit of the work for me. So I'm just gonna be adding to that a little bit more. And just gradually building up to Administratum Grey by Citadel as a final little touch to the uh, gun pouch and to the bolt gun casing as well. And now onto one of my favorite metallics I decided to go for, which is Black Metal by Scale 75. I highly recommend that you pick up the Metal and Alchemy Steel series by Scale 75. It is absolutely the best metallic set that I ha currently have and have ever used. Uh, the same goes for the Copper series and the Gold series as well. Definitely amazing metallics and uh, very affordable as well. I believe they were just $54 each and uh, you get eight paints in them. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've still got heaps of those left and I've had them for a couple of years now. So as you can see, just picking out all of the metallic parts, just with a simple coat of black metal over the already prepared Black Legion contrast paint.
And just to finish off all of the metal, I'm just gonna do an edge highlight of Stormhost Silver. And here are some photos of the completed Space Wolf Space Marine with contrast paints. So I hope you found this tutorial useful today. I had a lot of fun painting this one and I will certainly have more tactical marines in the near future, focusing on the new contrast paints and some of the older ones as well. So leave a like, share this video with your friends and subscribe today. Thank you so very much for watching and I will see you again in the next one.